Are we doing that? I mean, yeah, smash Mary and Keith. Jessica, we are live. <laughs> oh, okay, Mara, I hope my mom doesn't see this name. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, but why is Apollonia should also do it then? <laughs> I'm not gonna sit and um, get all the. Just gonna sit. Mommy, just don't. It's not what. No, BP, you are great. You are a man of honor, me. So. Are we recording? <laughs> kill one. <laughs> I mean, you have a ring. Let's see. One looks I muscular. Don't you wanna smash that one? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of the Jets Campus Podcast. This series is brought to you by the Jets Media Committee, and I'm very much excited to embark with you on this journey. And I'm here. I'm joined by my co-host. I'm Luna Andenge. And on this podcast, we're going to dive into conversations where we um, share our insights and connect with our students. And I'm here joined by my three guests and they'll introduce themselves. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let's get started. You have to say your name. You tell us two truths about you and one lie. And then we detect the lie. Um, thank you, Aplonia, for opening the floor. So, yeah, uh, my name is Tanya Rastis. I'm a first year at Jets Campus. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering. So yeah, I am very passionate about school. I am confident and I am a movie junkie. Okay, which I believe the lie is passionate about school. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> how can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Hi everyone. I'm Tulika Nepela, doing civil engineering first year here. Um. So I always carry a bottle of water with me. Um. The sky is yellow and all look good today can you the light the sky is fine mm, yeah, <laughs> what's up everyone i'm tommy shaningwa i'm majoring in electronics and computer engineering um a bit in a bit a bit about myself i'm very inquisitive about controversial discussions and uh, um, you guys should know that I'm very, very honored to make it on the first, first podcast with my girlfriend, Luna. And yeah, uh, Tangi and I are great friends. The lie would be that we are dating, yeah. Of course you will say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. So, yes, um, we are very excited to host this very first podcast, as my host, Apollonia, said. Let's start with, you know... The beginning you know before you came here what were your expectations what were you thinking like what were you thinking before you arrived what were you expecting and then how does that differ from what you actually experienced okay i have something to share so i can answer that one so yeah um come first day for registration your first day the first day registration opened i came from home i don't live near Angotiva. i came from home in a hurry I came, I registered, school started, we had core semester, and say that we were the first to have core semester, right? Um, the whole UNAM, whatever it is, but yeah. So, core semester, that month, I was so serious. But then, approaching the last week of core semester, I saw a guy, ne? in first, I don't know, that guy is so demotivated, ne? that guy, ne? he changed my life, bro. The guy didn't care about anything. He's, he, he was just so cool, man. I, I, I tried to... <laughs> so uh, the guy's uh, first year also, what? Yeah, he's, he's well, a how, first wait, year. How do you think he's demotivating? What if he's cool outside, but he's actually ac academically excelling there, the other side? Because he's my friend and I spend most of the time with him. <laughs> so so I also became So like the convos are giving... Don't be too serious, ne? Don't be too serious. <laughs> Don't be too serious. We, we had some modules that we were stressing ourselves with in course semester, ne? Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that I was serious at first, but now that I see my seniors and all that, just chill. We just have to relax. And that friend of yours, you're still engaged? Yeah. Okay. There he is. About the beginnings, I'll, I'll, I'll turn them as humble beginnings because um, for somebody that came here, but initially my plan was not to come here, I feel like I was not necessarily detoured, but God maneuvered me to here. Mm -hmm. well, the initial plan was 
um, for me to do something related to astronomy. Unfortunately, that is not offered in Namibia, so I Can sat I down. You? Yeah, yeah. But do you like it here now? Yeah, you will eventually. Something about engineering is it's about problems and solving problems. Mm. So you, if you're somebody that is very, very high on, on problem solving, then you will eventually fall in love with engineering. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. So, like, now I had to sit down with myself. And you have to also consider that decision wise, you have to involve your parents, right? Mm. So, you have to sit down with yourself, you decide and you summon that decision so in a way that you are going to, when you are going to be presented to your parents they are, uh, they are in support with whatever you have mm -hmm. so and then they were like no it's fine i i feel like it's it's fine but the choice i i the choice i had which is electronics and computer they were in a way not fine with it because uh it's something new to them that they, they really didn't know what electronics and computer was but i feel like that, that the course that I've applied for will actually drive me to what I'm passionate about. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. To be honest, your mom probably thought you were going to be a computer DJ or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, though, I wasn't really expecting to come here because I didn't either... I like wanted to do something related to health science or something. Mm -hmm. But then, now, unfortunately, the course that I wanted, I was not admitted there. And I was only admitted here. I had to come here, but I had, I didn't have expectations, like, that's just how I am. Then when I came here, um, it was pretty cool. Uh, people are quite engaging and kind, mm -hmm. and yeah, I get now to adapt to the environment. We'll speak about the transition between wherever you're coming from in university. That was like, actually going to be the next question, but oh. since you brought it up, yes. How did you guys manage to transition from high school life to university? The girls life? back then and the girls here. How are they different? <laughs> Especially, no, no, let's okay. talk in terms of engineering uh, program itself now. Mm. Transitioning from high school life to here. Mm. Okay. How did you guys manage that? So, I don't, okay, I'm not from a boarding school, but back then, it's actually almost the same. The people and everything. The interactions mm -hmm. and all that it's just maybe your ways of doing stuff now so i have to speak english like 24 7. Mm -hmm. i i was like because if you say uh, i was i was 20 you know. hours out of 24 <laughs> africans you get it yeah. Yeah. yeah so i mean you have to adjust to that now you obviously will adapt uh, now my english is academically yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guys academically but, as in yeah. how you used to study in school and academically yeah. it was always Four days before exam, chapter per day, and then it just mm -hmm. turns into one day before exams becomes now chapter per two hours. I mean, okay, it okay. just changes. Now for you, I think it's different. Uh, who's from the boarding school? I am. Tell us about your experience. Um, from high school, since I was in hostel, mm -hmm. like we always have to go for study. Yeah. Like the only time you get to stay in hostel, like for the whole day, Saturday and Sunday. And you but don't have devices Sunday. the other side. You don't have internet phones to use oh, yeah. now here. We didn't have phones, we didn't have internet, unless maybe you go to the computer lab to, to do your stuff. Mm. But then when you came here, things are quite different. Mm. It's, for your, it's for you to decide whether should I go study or should I go do it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But That's how was it for you then? Like, as a new then year Then it was kind of, it's like you're forced to do something, but then still, you just had to like, add yeah, I feel follow like the rules. And not yeah, yeah. yeah, because the thing is there, it's like, you know our teachers have been our second parents right? yeah so like you go to hostel <laughs> and you denied like, my parents then if, if <laughs> that's the case <laughs> and you then here boarding school there you, you are actually controlled okay. your behavior is controlled you are confined to a certain way of behaving you can't work out out of class without a valid, valid reason and you come to varsity, Matsebula is teaching, and then you can walk out of class and yeah, you're like... Yeah. Hey. You also choose to put your phone away <laughs> yeah. when you want to. <laughs> when you want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like, yeah, Z, it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah, yeah but, but in a way, if, 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 it's, if, you, if you are a certain somebody that can't control or you are not well disciplined when it comes to like the things that you, you, are, you are exposed to in university, then, mm. then that will obviously affect your academics yeah. but then that one that one actually work only in the first semester yeah because that's that, that, that's when you realize that okay now oh. i need to change mm, course now i need, need to yeah. change if yeah. i keep yeah. on doing that yeah. then mm. yeah. first semester bro like when you came when you come to university you're like i'm going to, to a place where i have to be high on academics 
then they give you course semester where you have digital literacy and you'll be doing things online you, yeah and you're that's like, also discouraging okay 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 yeah. guys um, but let me ask this question are you guys happy with your first semester academic records um of course you expect us to lie no i want honesty <laughs> 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 if you are happy, okay, if you okay, are here, let's, let's okay. not talk about transcripts and all that. You know, uh, mm. let's let you keep that to private life. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about what was like the biggest challenges that you guys faced during your first year. We're talking about peer pressure. You know, like what was your biggest challenge during the first semester? Biggest challenge mm. during the first semester. Okay. Making it to class, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Making into yeah. chemistry, it's it's always eight a.m. and winter. It's yeah, it was winter time, and you know sometimes you just have to sleep your two minutes off, bro. If the if, 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 if no, yeah, it won't hit. But the thing is, if you go back to sleep, you you actually wake up daytime. That's the problem. Making it to class was my. Was the biggest challenge. Yeah, it was the biggest challenge, and I think it's still going to be the biggest challenge. And social wise, how did you guys adapt? Um, okay, maybe let me start off answering the question that you've asked before. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, my biggest challenge was um, a drawing a distinction between my academic life mm. and my life outside academics. Mm. Because you know, there are things that you have passion for. Mm. You know, Tangi is into everything mechanical. Everything mechanical, Tangi is in it. Mm. So, like, you don't want that, that God gifted virtue of you to die, and at the same time, you wouldn't want your academics to be affected. Yeah. So, like, prioritizing which one should I go for has been a big challenge. Mm. Mm, then, that's true. Social wise, challenge to manage. Social wise, um, I, I, I don't think when it comes to, to, to my social life, I'm, 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 that's somebody that is not. I still not I feel like I lay too much priority on the social life, like mm. whether whether going out or maybe social media. I'll I'll obviously spend hours <coughs> like and, and, and you know the SUV use mm. will say we are procrastinating. Mm. You being on your phone and you wouldn't want to study and you'll excuse yourself by saying nah I'm procrastinating. I need to watch a movie. Yeah, I need to watch well, a movie. Still more time. Uh, if, if it's oh, still more time. Yeah. Mm. If it, you'll hear girls will be like, nah, my men don't Let me go J. But men, men, <laughs> real men don't, don't oh, okay. talk high about men. Mm, what advice would you give to the incoming first engineering students? Look for me and then I'll tell you. What's up. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to come for you. Okay, yeah. so um, what I'll actually say to them is that. Um, don't force yourself, ne? It, you'll sink right to it. You'll find that lecturer ne? who will come in and be like, oh yeah, uh, last week I was with, um, we were testing out a hybrid. You see, such things, things that will really tell you that, oh, our world is actually advanced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll just sink into it. You'll end up loving it. If you get to know how things work, because here, this is where uh, uh, you learn how things actually work. Mm. It's not just, oh, the phone is taking a picture, but it's actually image recognition, it's actually pixels and all those things. Yeah. So you'll actually sing into it. So if you're into engineering, if you're into how things work, mm. you, you'll mm. love it. Just mm. relax. That the right lecturer will come. That's true. Yeah, that's what I have to say. To the folks out there, the only thing I can say is, First, you guys should grasp the basics that you have learned in high school. Whatever you are taught from grade 8 to 12, come to university with you. Don't study with the aim of passing exams only. Study with the aim of learning. Mm-hmm. Whatever you are doing, right, you are going to utilize it here. And the other thing is, live your life through Isaiah 43, verse 2 to 3. So that is all I can say, guys. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, varsity is a place in the world, you live in the world, so it's nothing to fear about. Um, so, yeah. Well, I'll say that uh, to the new upcoming ones, um, my advice is that you should just know what you are good at. Like, once you see someone doing that, don't be like, I just want to go do it just because they are doing it. Or you should, you should like, know, know what, know, you should know yourself. Because mm-hmm. if you know yourself, that's the only way you can advance.
mm. and become a better version of yourself. Okay. So I was asking about first semester and all that, and I heard a lot of different views on how your semester went. Now I wanted to ask, what is it that you would do differently if you, if there was a first year student coming? You told us that you know you are struggling with this and this and that. What is it that you wish you have done differently, just to give some advice to them as well? So um, we have time frames in which we do assignments and all those things, right? There's a duration to all the work we do here. Um, what I think I've been doing wrong um, for the past months, couple of months actually, I would say doing things too late. Mm. Yeah, and, and you end up uh, start stressing because you want your project or you want whatever you're doing to be so perfect that it's not meeting your standards. But I think it's just the time that you have not given yourself. You, you, the time you haven't put, you did not put in time. You are willing to put in effort, but it's too late. Mm. So I'll, I'll do things earlier if, if that's the case. I'll do things earlier and then relax after I'm done. Mm. Yeah. You're gonna expect high marks for something you did in first. Of minutes. course, expectation is always high marks. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, you know when, when you finish something <laughs> early, yeah. you leave room for you to critique what you have done. Like, I feel like I can do better than this. So you won't you, finish. Then you change it again, again. to something mm. else. And then at the end of the day, when you are two hours away from submission, you will actually have three. three now that's where mechanic, mechanic three comes in now. <laughs> so I feel like I intentionally do things last minute because I'm trying to like leave out that room for for critiquing whatever that that you see, you see Tommy, so maybe for you that's it's what's it's happening with me yeah, but maybe i do it instantly <laughs> I, I just do things last minute i don't know why yeah. like so it's a thing of pressure. do tomorrow do tomorrow yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, do tomorrow yeah i yeah. prefer yeah. to <laughs> also do things earlier though you, okay. you prefer to do things earlier because mm. mm. if you do them late you start maybe cramping and then things will just pile up and then you start mm. if, if there's something i'll change is um I, I personally believe that when I came to university, I've killed my potential. And earlier I spoke about how I'm really, really passionate and inquisitive about controversial issues. Mm -hmm. And until date, I'm yet to attend a student parliament session. Okay, the, the recent one I've, I've partially attended it online. I've, I've viewed ours. The live video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. the and stream. you know, just having these discussions, mm -hmm. like, you know, sitting down with personals like the VP, maybe, you know, just to take knowledge from these people. Mm -hmm. So, like, I personally feel like if I was to be granted that opportunity to be a first year again, I will relive really that moment. I will, I will like, go in that and then do it the way that wouldn't kill my potential. That's so, nice. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, what surprised you the most about being an engineering student as a first year? What surprised me the most? It's not what they say it is. No. There's no hunger, pressure, no. it's fine. <laughs> Maybe because you still you, you know, you have to have friends 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 in the hostel. If you don't have friends in hostel, then you <laughs> won't feed. Maybe the pressure is still you coming. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I mean, um, it's always like that. I'm always approaching examination time, all those things. You mm. always get That's when you feel the pressure. You will feel pressure, definitely. Um, approaching tests, approaching, you know, due dates of assignments. Mm. That Home pressure is always too. going to be there. Yeah. Mm. But, um, you know, during your free time, you actually have a lot of free time here. Um, yeah, and it's not, but uh, one thing I've noticed, even though you're a free time, eh, if someone sends you like a message or this, and this, it's always difficult to follow up. Yeah. That's what I noticed. I don't know why, because, so maybe that's what leads to people that are at university to lie to us that they don't get time, but I know they have time, oh, yeah. they're just not following up. Mm. But the other thing also that surprised me is that, I uh, surprised me is that um, a here time flies by like nothing. Mm. It was just Monday. And <laughs> it, but Monday yeah, doesn't really. count because you are at school from 8 to 7. It, uh, yeah, that's the thing mm. now. Yeah. So, I mean, time flies by and also you have actually more time than you think. Mm. Time has always been like this, guys. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm. You're just feeling it now. <laughs> what surprised me is the friendliness and the feminine, the, mm. the togetherness of 
people on this campus. Yeah, you know, when, when, when I came here, I was like, Ish. I was expecting. You look on campus and everybody is just doing on their, their own. Yeah. Yeah, on Minding their, own. their business. And you know, you know, for us guys, we are very high on Guababa sometimes. Yeah. We are scared of, you know, just asking Luna for a pen because you are scared of being rejected. Also, that's the cause <laughs> itself. You can't do it alone. Mm, that's why like you'll be forced to talk to the next yeah. person. You are actually, I was actually surprised when, you know, somebody will come to you and just offer you something without mm. asking. Yeah, well, let me help you. Let me help yeah. you. So that is something that actually surprised me. It got me to a point where I thought, ah, these people, they are, they are too kind. They yeah. are too kind to be true. Like, yeah. how can it be like? It's like yeah. we, we make our own tribe. Yeah. 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 Just you and see, you even go our, back our own right. special <laughs> space. This is family now. Talking mm. about the kind as if I can actually add on that. This is actually very true in hate because back home um we don't we aren't as kind to each other like when you're in town and stuff and you're walking especially in town mm. and you're walking like we don't greet each other like it's kind of seen as like what awkward. Is like what time why are you talking to me? i don't what know you <laughs> Mar- okay it's, Swako, Mar- it's not that bad <laughs> it's not that bad <laughs> ne. we're nice ne, Mar- <laughs> like just greeting someone you don't know it's mm. weird unless you want to ask them something mm. so when i came here and everyone's greeting i was like yo should i greet when i walk past people and then i just adopted that habit because i'm like i don't want to be the odd one out guys i'm gonna greet you whether you greet me back i'm or I'm not gonna i'm gonna hi. greet you because yeah. it's mm. it's the norm here like people are very actually yo they're very nice hey? yeah they're, they're nice and yeah. sometimes you just feel guilty and odd yeah. when you pass yeah. by someone you don't Talking say hi yeah. and yeah and, and, and you and greet the securities whether you walk yeah. past them four times There's five times you keep greeting them the yeah. is not only limited to students like you can meet me at lobby you are yeah. in first year you yeah. mentioned yeah. i met this Paulina in, in, in oh, <laughs> yeah like in Chopis uh-huh. in March mm-hmm. imagine we started Feb in March, in March. she said hi to me and I'm like she knows me already yeah they know their kids I'm auntie like, wow. mommy mm-hmm. of the house <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay um guys what is the um, what are you most proud of achieving in your first semester of engineering since we just kicked off with the second semester now yeah I'm happy for not having to repeat any modules yeah. for the eh, next eh. year. Mm. No really. Yeah, yeah I don't know how again. to put it, but eh, guys, it, 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 it's supposed to be celebrated. Mm. Um, but Doesn't is it? Thank, thank you, God. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah honestly. Mm. Okay, so I feel like we're a bit tired of hearing of like we get it, we are engineers and we are working hard and school is tough and we're, I want to hear about the nice stuff, the juicy stuff, the things that I feel like people actually want to hear. Now. <laughs> so how is it, let's adjust ourselves, you know, let's get comfortable. Mm-hmm. How is the dating life? Have you seen anyone that's caught your eye? Have you been rejected so far? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you been rejected by anyone? Because. I don't know, but I don't know. No, especially that you guys are first years. Mara, have you been rejected and how, how did that feel? Have you ever approached a girl and how, mm. how was it? Did oh, she have say? you ever been approached? Did you guys are now new Valentine's intake, ne? It's like people come to you guys. Secret letters. Uh, what what Apronia <laughs> said. Okay, 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 cool. <laughs> Ladies <laughs> first, okay, cool. Mtulika. Mm. Mm, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they came, ne? Yeah, they ne? came. They approached it's you guys. Now. Of course, now they came. Yeah. We yes. always come. <laughs> yeah. So as as for come, girls ne? coming to us, hey. we come to you. Oh, a girl approached you. It's, it's, girls don't come. <laughs> if it happened to you, bro, hey, you should be a girl. <laughs> Like um, <laughs> do you know how they come actually? Mm. Which ones now? Those ones? Like Which ones are those? The As girls or them? Or you? Or you no, guys? the girls approaching men. Mm. They don't approach like in physical, like like mm. coming to you. Mm. They like, they would rather send you a text saying hi. Do we have a test tomorrow? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we were in the same class, bro. And then you are in you the are front row seat and you're asking me that sitting at the back. Asking you if we have a, we have a tomorrow. test tomorrow. I know. <laughs> you already maybe, know. Can you maybe show me how yeah. the how other thing is done? <laughs> we know, we know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Ah, uh, I mean. guys, thank you for being delulu at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just true. asking, is it? 
Yeah, it's true. If the girl asks about the test, mm. you yeah, like I, I, I don't feel like I would ever approach a guy and be like, hey, I like you know, like yeah, you know. something. But like I that. have a roommate, and we are in the same class. I can ask. You her can almost. ask your roommate. In Why your do I have to ask another? The, 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 your neighbors, all those exactly. things in the hostel. Hostel is so vast, bro. There's so <laughs> many people, so dense no, people. No, it's a thing. <laughs> Maybe you guys get it wrong sometimes. Okay? Let me share now my own uh, experience. Okay. Mm. I've seen a guy that approached me. He's like. Not even a guy, guys. They're like mm. Apollonia. Mm. You are kind. You like I show come at this kindness of mm. like I want them. Mm. But when they ask me out, I don't give them yeses. Mm. Now I'm like, but guys, I never said I want you. Also, I just feel like to me, I'm not giving you that energy. But you think I'm giving you that energy? That's the problem. And one thing that you guys should like, I think women should understand is that when I appreciate a virtue that you possess, let me say if it's. I, I appreciate the way God molded you, mm. your physique. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm into you. I'm just appreciating putting yeah. out with it. Yeah. No, you are beautiful. It's mm-hmm. just a slight crush. Well, you're going to get it wrong if and I'm like, being kind to you. You'll find these ladies who instantaneously push you away because you've acknowledged that virtue of theirs. Okay. And that, that is very, very... That is how it goes. <laughs> nah, maybe they cut you off because you also give some... No, no you, you guys actually more like the, the But let's focus on tag this thing. More I wanna get that thing straight. <laughs> appreciated <laughs> like on yeah. their personality. Yeah. They want that. But if I say, oh, you look cute, you you yeah, you, you look fine. Say you look cute in a proper <laughs> manner. If in a professional you, manner, that's no, when you don't just be like you look cute. <laughs> like what that like. No, there's a person there's, a, there's gonna be a guy that's gonna be like, ah, you look cute, you know? Now there is a different energy, the thing mm. of uh, a woman doing it. Yeah. As a man. Be a feminine man. <laughs> <laughs> As a man. <laughs> yeah. He's 100% People are naughty. Yeah. For <laughs> <laughs> okay, so based off of your experience, Ne, like we know that as a first year, you're coming from a different environment and you're coming here and you're new. Like you are new, everyone is new to you. Would you advise a first year to date in their first year? As I said, you should know yourself. I mean, just know yourself. If you know yourself, you know your spirit. Maybe if it's telling you that this is right, then you go for it. If it's not right, you feel like it's not right. Mm. Trust your energy. Yeah, mm. that's the advice. I will push Piliga's saying to the front. I'm yeah. on her back, yeah. 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 And, and supporting that one. We should People also are understand. Okay, I'm 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 strongly for what she said. But also we should understand the fact that hey, those who would want to, you know, we are coming from some way. Mm-hmm. We had a life before that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have... Which you probably ended. Or <laughs> you probably didn't end. Yes. You left your girlfriend in high school, you come here. You come here, you want another you one. <laughs> or Apollonia, you're mm-hmm. like, damn. And you know what's funny, me? Yeah. I don't know if it's just me yeah. as a man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have that thing of like, you like you'll be like oh okay I'm here at the engineering mm. school. Yeah. I also want someone at my level. Exactly. You see. You mm. see? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know we should we should be speaking to each other like oh. I, I cannot be. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but you but guys have a thing, thing we of should, we should also at the same level. That's not bad. Right. The, illu- the, the illusion of not options mm. or standards mm. push away genuine people. Like mm-hmm. you have left somebody at home who genuinely left, loves you, who genuinely loves you, who genuinely compliments guys, guys you, love me. and you are fumbling that person because of the illusion of options or the illusion of standards. Do you stick to your relationship? And I don't know if 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 you are fine or if your significant other is fine with you having six other partners, then you go for it. But don't do that. Not nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't mix things. It's not nice. Don't yeah. mix things, guys. Nice. Don't mix things. It's hard, man. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Stick with your person. Mm. Okay, and so that is what we have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the very much different views that we had from our beautiful first years over here. Yes. yes. So as we are approaching the end, we just wanna. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned because this is not going to be the last time that we're going to be having a podcast. We'll be having a podcast very soon, so stay tuned. And please go follow our social media accounts. We will list them on the screen below. And yes, have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you in the next episode.